In this video, I'm just going to explain why I became polymorphic myself. There's probably going to be a lot of other videos on this subject because I'm also on this moment um, writing my bachelor thesis about this subject. I am like I'm asking why people uh, become polyamoric and how this adds to their meaning of life. I'm just going to interview a lot of people on the subject, so I'll probably post more videos. I became polyamoric about um, half a year ago. I had I've been having a few uh, relationships of about a year or two years, and I just didn't feel that it was a good for me. I cheated a few times on my former boyfriends. <laughs> Seriously, shame on me, because if you make commitments, if you make promises, you gotta keep them. I really believe that. Um, but well, okay, I um, I apologize and all's well about that. But it's just not for me. It's just not for me being monogamous. I find it so difficult because I can be in love with multiple persons at the same time. And I feel like I want to express my love. And just having, you know, like um, having feelings for other persons and not being able to express them, it feels like I should sort of lose a part of myself. It feels like when, when, when I'm not allowed to have certain feelings in a, in a monogamous relationship, it feels like I'm a bad person when I do have those feelings. But I do have those feelings, it's just natural and I think it's for most people, or maybe all people, it's natural to have feelings for multiple persons. And we shouldn't hate ourselves for that. We should actually love ourselves for that. Because it's so much fun to love multiple persons at the same time. I mean, you can, you can clearly see that this with friendship. People have multiple friendships and every friend has to offer other qualities. Like with this one friend you can have lots of fun and with this other friend you can really support, support each other and with another friend you have um, very good conversations about deep subjects. And this is also true for love relationships. Every love gives you other things. And this is why I think polyamory is great. It's great for your life. Also, I noticed in my former relationship, the, like the, my last monogamous relationship, I noticed myself becoming really dependent upon the other person. It's so easy to, to blame each other for certain emotions that you have. Like, if I would feel negative, I would expect him to uh, to come and soothe me, like cuddle me and say nice things to me. This had become a pattern and it made me sort of wanting to manipulate him. Okay, manipulation has such a negative connotation, but with manipulation I just mean that people try to alter each other's behavior. This can also be in a good way, by the way, but um, but in monogamous relationships, what you see is because people don't uh, let each other free. They just, uh, they, they want their partner to um, have a certain job or act in a certain way, have certain friends, uh, come home at this time, you know, it's, um, it's really, this is all about yourself. This is not about the other person. If you really love the other person, you just want that person to be free. You want this person to have the best life that he or she can have. And if 
that is with another person than you. So be it. You shouldn't hold on to your, your partner like, oh my god, I can't be happy without this person. And that's what uh, a lot of people in this society do. But if your partner wants to have sex with someone else, you know, well, let's, let's just allow that to happen. And if this, if your partner actually wants to have a relationship with this other person, good. Be happy for him or her. Within polyamoric relationships, um, it's, it's really about freedom, but also about openness and communication and honesty. It's, it's a sort of learning playground for um, learning how to express yourself properly, how to um, set the other person free, but also yourself um, about loving the other person and loving yourself. For me, Pauli Mori is also about personal development because I want this other person to be completely free. And when the other person does something that I, which makes me feel, feel sad or mad or I don't know, um, then I'm not trying to manipulate the other person to act in a certain way that I feel good again. I will just look into myself like, why do I feel, for example, jealous? when he's having sex with a lot of girls besides me. Why do I feel jealous? For example, right now I have this partner and he's like really uh, popular among the girls and he's, uh, he's easy with finding sexual partners. Um, and then on this moment I have uh, problems with um, uh, a disease called Candida and it, it's, um, it gives me a lot of vaginal infections so I cannot have sex on this moment it's like been for been like this for a few weeks and this makes me feel sad and when he um, when I hear when I when I think about him having sex with other girls I feel jealous but maybe, maybe more jealous, jealous of these girls actually, like, oh, they can have sex and I can, I can. But this also makes me very sad. And now I'm not trying to manipulate him to not have sex with these girls because why, why would I? <laughs> Seriously. Um, but I just look inside myself and I ask myself, why do I feel sad? And I actually see that it has got to do something with self-worth. I feel like I'm sort of not worthy of, um, of love when I can't give the other person sex. Now, this is an interesting belief <laughs> that I stumbled upon. Um, I didn't know that I had this belief and now I found out that this is what I actually think and this makes it possible for me to change it. So I'm actually very happy to be jealous at these girls because they, um, they guided me to this learning. So I'm, I'm grateful for these sad feelings. And I am willing to transform them into something more beautiful. This brings me to the last point I would like to tell you about. For me, Pauli Mori, it's got often a lot of, a lot to do with self-love. A lot of problems that people experience within relationships is due to a lack of self-love. And Pauli Mori makes this very clear. And it gives you um, the, the tools to work with it. Um, the example I gave is, is, a, is a good example of that because now I'm looking into um, how can I create more self-love and 
um, and how can I start having the belief that I deserve love unconditionally if I can have sex or not, not can have sex you know it doesn't matter um, so yeah self-love it's it's very important it's a really important thing because the the only relation that you're always gonna have in this life and which is the most important relationship you'll ever have is the one with yourself and if the relation with yourself is good then you can let the other person completely free and it doesn't matter what he or she does you just you just feel glad or loving so that's it that's why i became polymoric it's about personal development self-love just more love <laughs> yeah it's it's really about love it's really about love so love to you and until next time i hope to make some more videos in polymoric and um if you feel like subscribing please do because i just started out with this channel and um i i hope to connect with a lot of like-minded people so i'm i'm trying to grow the channel so please subscribe if you feel like if you feel like a share or um recommend a friend i don't know um i'm thankful for for all support and um love to you all until next time